Welcome back to our academic word list. It's the easiest way to learn the most common words in college classes. Let's learn the next five words, friends. Derive. Derive has two syllables, derive. And the emphasis is on the second syllable, derive, derive, derive. Derive is a verb that means to come from something or to get something from something else. Just like come from or get from, we usually use the word derive with the preposition from. pleasure from listening to classical music. Oh. It makes me feel so cultured. I think I know a song you might like then. derived great pleasure from listening to classical music, but she did not derive pleasure from listening to M's music. Easy listening music, oh, that's nice, is a derivation of classical music. And for derivative, we could say Lauren's name is a derivative of Laurentia a Latin name from the time of the early Romans. Mmm, wow. No wonder you like listening to classical music, Laurentia. Mm. Factor. Factor has two syllables. Factor. The emphasis is on the first syllable. Factor. Factor. Factor is a noun or a verb. As a noun, it means something that causes a result. As a verb, factor means to use some information in a calculation or estimation. Hey Lauren, are you ready for your date with Jeff? Ugh, I'm so nervous for this date. Is that because he's better than you at badminton? Okay, that could be one factor. But the real factor is that I have not been on a date in a year. Yeah, well, just remember, be the racket. Be the racket. Thank you, Em. Hey, Em. Hey, Lauren. How was the date? Did you lose? Yes, I lost a badminton, but the date was great. Except I did not factor in how sweaty I would get playing badminton. We went to dinner afterwards, I was a hot mess. I always forget to factor in sweatiness. Lauren mentioned two factors, or reasons, why she's nervous about her date. She hasn't been on a date in a year, and she's not very good at badminton. When Lauren said she did not factor in how sweaty she would be, it means she didn't think about being sweaty when she was getting ready for her date. Define. Define has two syllables, define. The emphasis is on the second syllable, define, define, define. Define is a verb and it can mean to make something clear, or to give the meaning of a word. So how are things going with you and Jeff? Mm, honestly, they're great. Like we go on all these dates, we have the best time together. We sit next to each other in every class. We don't stop talking every time we're together. We laugh so much. Mm -hmm. But I'm just so confused. Like, I don't know what we are. Sounds like you guys need to DTR. DTR? Define the relationship. I mean, you need to have a talk. Oh. Well, uh, I got this new phone and look at the definition on this screen. Wow. Isn't that great? This is, this is awesome. Definition is the noun form of define. 
as you saw in that scene, define and definition can also mean how clear something looks. Procedure has three syllables, procedure, with the emphasis on the second syllable, procedure, procedure. Now listen to the third syllable, procedure. See, it's spelled with a D, but most native speakers say it like a J, procedure, procedure, procedure. Procedure means the way you do something or the steps you take to do something. You remember the word method? Yeah, it's really similar to that. I can't believe Professor Mayondo gave me a B on this essay. This is like my best work. I should have gotten an A. Well, did you read his comments? No. Well, Am, it's common procedure to first read the comments that your instructor wrote on your paper. Then, if you still don't understand why you got a B, go talk to him. Professor Miranda is going to want you to understand your grade. Yeah, you're right. I know. So, M will follow procedure in order to understand her essay grade. First, she will read the comments that her teacher wrote on her essay. And if she still doesn't understand, she will talk to her teacher about the grade to understand it. Another common context for the word procedure is in medicine. And in this context, we could say, she is having a procedure done next week. This means she's having surgery. So procedure usually means surgery. And we could also say, she's having a minor procedure, which means not very serious surgery. And if it's a serious surgery, we would say she's having a major procedure done. Assume has two syllables, and the emphasis is on the second syllable. Assume, assume. Did you notice that you almost don't even hear that first syllable? Assume, assume. Assume is a verb, and it means to guess something. You don't have all the information, but you're making a guess about something you think is true. Assumption is the noun form of this word, and it means a guess. This is really similar to our previous word, estimate, but in this case, it's not usually having to do with numbers, but more about people's behaviors and situations. Are you hungry? It's like so dark outside. It's got to be midnight. Well, that's a crazy assumption. Why are you assuming it's midnight? Don't you wear a watch? No, I don't. I live by the sun and the moon. A watch would make me a slave to the machine. Oh boy. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.